How to level up crafting skills. Weapon crafting, armor crafting, alchemy and etching. The first thing you do to level up a crafting profession is head on over to a crafting station within a major city. You can find crafting areas in Kaitor, Elementhea, Velika, and here where I am at, in High Watch. Walk over to the crafting station design vendor of your selected profession. I will use a weapon crafting design Have vendor I got a story in this for example. You? Select and purchase a design that is for skill level 1. I will buy a Lobby Gunner weapon design as an example. Notice how there are only two designs here lit up and the rest are blacked out, blued out, grayed out, whatever. The reason is both of these are level 1 weapon designs and the others are higher levels. Right click the design to absorb it as a crafting skill. Walk over to a crafting station and press the F key on your keyboard. Select the profession you want to start crafting in. Find the design under the crafting profession listings. Notice how there is a material missing. This is where you purchase it at. Are you new around here? A pleasant conversation. I grab the other crafting materials beforehand to speed things up a bit. Select the quantity of items you want to craft and click the create button. Fast forwarding this video to speed things up. See how my weapon crafting skill level is increasing? Keep on crafting any skill level 1 design until you get a message that says your crafting can no longer increase your skill level. Just like it says right here. For the Federation. Then go buy a higher skill level design. Rinse and repeat. When you reach level 500 skill level on weapon crafting, armor crafting, alchemy, or etching, you'll be able to take the artisan test. The test button will be located around this area. The artisan test will have various items you have to craft. Once you have completed all of the artisan test requirements, you will have earned the artisan achievement like I have on this character for alchemy. Then you will be allowed to craft 500 skill level designs. Keep on leveling using the same method as before until you reach 800 skill level within your selected profession. At 800 skill level, you will be able to take the Master Crafter test for your selected profession. After you craft everything that the Master Crafter test requires, you will receive a Master Crafter achievement for your selected profession. Here is an example of my Slayer. He is a Master Crafter. A few side notes. Your crafting is limited by the production point system. Every design costs a certain amount of production points to craft. Here is how much production points you have. This is where every design lists how many production points it costs to make one item. As you can see, this design only costs 75 production points to make this low level gunner weapon. When you move on to higher level items, the production points cost will grow. Like on this Defiance PvP weapon. It costs 1,000 production points to make. For a comprehensive tutorial on production points, check out my production points video guide. A lot of crafting designs require you to craft at least one of the listed ingredients. Here's an example. The lower level gunner weapon needed this ingredient right here, which you could not gather or it does not drop. You actually have to craft it. Read any good books lately? Here's the design on the vendor. 
This is not unique. A lot of the designs will require you to craft additional materials. It doesn't matter if it's weaponsmithing, For the Federation. armor crafting, I'll share what I know. Etching. Tell me a tale. Alchemy. A lot of the non-crafted ingredients like these runes drop while you're leveling when killing mobs, bams, or inside dungeons. Higher level designs will require harder to get materials you can only get through high level dungeons and PvP boxes like sea chests and toy boxes. Of course, you can buy the majority of crafting materials on the trade broker, but it will be expensive if you only go that route instead of farming the materials yourself. Please note, Terra allows you to only level up one crafting profession past 499 skill level per character. Here's an example. I'm a master etcher on this character. If I wanted to take the artisan or master test to craft 500 or higher skill of designs in weapon crafting, armor crafting, or alchemy, Terra would not allow me to. If you want to become an artisan or master crafter in all professions, you must create a different character to level up each individual profession like I have. One last thing, you can craft anywhere in the tarot world if you are near a fire or fire pit. And that was my guide on how to level up crafting in Terra. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed any part of this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Check out my website, cleartechinfo.com. Lots of terror guides on there. Watch me play Terra badly at twitch.tv forward slash badnub. Thanks.